Hey families, this is Miss Lanning. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick how we're teaching your kids to do the U.S. standard algorithm for adding. So I'm going to start with a large number and then we'll go a little smaller. So here's our first number. And I like to draw these lines in. I think that helps the students keep everything straight. Um, and you need to make sure your kid is getting the ones lined up in the ones place, the tens in the tens place, the hundreds in the hundreds place, and the thousands in the thousands place. So this is a long and depth explanation. Um, I'm going to show you in a minute a really shorter way, the way that we're all more a little familiar with, but I wanted to explain to you what we're explaining to the kids at school. So we always start in the ones column. Um, the four is really just a four. The seven is really just a seven, as in four ones and seven ones. Um, and we know that when we add 7 plus 4, we get 11. And so when you look at the number 11, in the number 11, there is 1, 1. And so that 1 stays in the 1's column because it is a 1. The other 1 in 11 is a 10. So we put that up here in the 10's column because it is a 10. And then I make a little notation up here, hey, that that's a 10. So then in the 10's column, we need to make sure your child can say that this 1 represents a 10, the 5 represents a 50, and the 9 represents a 90. So when they add up 10 plus 50 plus 90, they're going to get 150. So when we look at that number 150, there are zero ones. So we don't need to change that 1 that we've already done. We need to put the 5 in the 10's column because that's the one we just added. And this 1 right here is going to go up here into the hundreds place because it represents a 100. So now we have 100 plus 400 plus 700. Add on all that up real quick and you get 1,200. Okay? Again, just looking at those numbers and showing the kids that there are zero ones, so we don't need to do anything. Zero tens, leave that five alone. Then in the hundreds place, we have to write the two. I put the 1 up here at the top, except for it's not really a 1, it's a 1,000. Okay? So then we have a 1,000, a 6,000, and a 2,000, and we add all that up, and we get 9,000. And so we go back through, 0 ones, so we can leave the 1 the same, 0 fives, or I'm sorry, 0 tens, so leave that 5 alone. 0, 100, so leave the 2 alone, and then the 9 stays here with a final answer of 9,251. Okay, real quick, the shorter version, one that we're all much more familiar with. All right, let's take this number, and we will add to that. Okay, so if your kid is struggling and they're not real sure about this, I always just go to them and say, all right, let's just do 9 plus 8. Well, 9 plus 8 is 17, so we're going to put the 7 down and put the 1 on top. Your kid needs to know that that 1 really means 10. The 6 means 60, the 5 means 50. If your kid is struggling with that, just have them add. 1 plus 6 plus 5 makes 12. So put your 2 here and put 1 on top like that, and now you're ready to go to the hundreds column. So in the hundreds column, you're going to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 and end up with a total of 6, and your final answer is 627. Thanks for watching.